Hey guys, so I'm back for another video. Oh lord. Um, today is going to be a super exciting one because I'm going to be trying out LA Girl. Full face of LA Girl and LA Girl is like one of my favourite drugstore brands. Like it's definitely in my top three. I don't know what the other two are but I definitely know LA Girl is part of my top three drugstore brands. I just love their brand so much. I've got so much from them. I did have to buy a few bits for this video but I'm really excited to try those for the first time so this video is just going to be so exciting. I've been loving to do one brand tutorials. They are quite expensive but they're so worth it in the end because I just like have all this new makeup and I just love like filming these types of videos for you guys. It just helps to give you an idea of what the brand is like in terms of quality, colour, um, pigmentation. I have been sick for like the past two days. I had like food poisoning, well that's what the doctor said. It was kind of hard, like the past two days have been so weak and I still kind of feel like dra like drained, but I'm fine. I know you guys are like, you guys are so sweet, you guys tell me all the time take it easy um, and stuff, but I just love filming and I love to be consistent and I think that's super important and this is not like a job for me, like it's my hobby, so I want to be there and film for you guys, so it's a totally different thing you know so I just I always want videos up for you guys anyways I'm back let me stop rambling so the first thing that I'm going to be using from Melico is their shady slim brow pencil this is what the brow pencil looks like and it's kind of like a brow is so it's kind of like double-ended this is in the shade blackest brown actually the colors are really perfect for me My first impression is that I'm really... really liking it. It's got this waxy feel so it's kind of keeping my brows in place. Okay, so I really, really, really like this brow pencil. Just like from first impression, like it doesn't put out too much product. It blends like a dream. It's super, super precise. Very similar to Brow Wiz. This is definitely a good dupe, like the bestest dupe I've seen for Brow Wiz. So big thumbs up. I love this. I think I'm going to just carve them out as well. So I'm going to use some of my LA Girl Pro Concealer in medium beige. I could just go straight like this, couldn't I? And the brow colour is just perfect for me. It's like the perfect brown. It's not too light. It's not too black. Now onto the exciting part. I want to really put this to the test. I got the Pro Eyeshadow Primer in Nude. So it's kind of like an eye base, a nudey one. Put this all over. It's giving me... MAC Soft Oco Vibes, even though I've not tried that product, but it looks like the same kind of thing. I've seen so many people use it. I'm also going to hurt a bit underneath as well. That's not bad. I mean, it's going a bit grey on me, but... We'll see. So LA Girl did come out with a new range of these like block makeup products. I'm going to be using the Pro Contour Powder and I'm going to use the highlight shade. I got the shade Tan. I'm just going to use that lighter colour. This is what it looks like up close. I'm just going to set that in. Just to warm it up a bit. Because my eyeshadow palette doesn't have a base colour, so I'm just going to use this. Actually, you know that and the base colour work really well. Alright, so now that's done, 
I'm going to grab my I haven't even swatched the eyeshadow palette I'm just asking myself like is it gonna be pigmented that's the real question I got the palette harmonize which looks like this it's these browns that caught my eye mostly the matte colors but it is a pretty eyeshadow palette it is quite small it's like the size of my hand but it feels very like thick and blocky and like sturdy I definitely think they've upped their packaging game. So I'm going to first grab this shade. Wait, let's do a swatch test. Hmm, that's not bad. Guys, do you see this pigmentation or am I dreaming? And I love this brown. It's like a pretty, pretty warm brown. Now I'm gonna grab this shade. The brush definitely picks up the product. Something flying around me. I'm just gonna zoom you guys in a bit. I want to see if I can take more of the eye base on a brush. Try and achieve a slight cloud crease. I'm quickly going to go into this shade right here. Place that on top. But this is really LA girl right now. Just a quick close up. I'm just really happy so far with all these products. Like it's definitely products I will continue to use on a daily basis. Guys, no, that was a flat. Sorry, you had to see that, guys. What is that? It's so aggressive. That's so annoying. That literally came right into my ear. If you guys are asking why yourselves, like, why is that always a fly? It's because we keep, when it gets hot, we keep the windows open garden door open and these bloody flies keep coming in next to me so i also got their fine line felt tip liner it's super thin so let's see if this will work I am going to take a makeup wipe and just clean that bit. I feel like I just need to get used to how thin it is. I'm going to get my makeup wipes. What I love about this eyeshadow palette is that there weren't any, there weren't any like fallout. Okay, so now I'm gonna curl my lashes quickly. And I'm gonna be using their doubled mascara. It is quite 
quite a lot of packaging for mascara in my opinion but yeah that's what it looks like it says it separates and coats lashes buildable lightweight formula silicone brush like compared to the i prefer i kind of like silicone brushes because like maybelline lash sensational is very similar it's got like a um, very similar it's got like a plastic brush silicone brush It's giving like fluttery wispy lashes, not necessarily giving volume. I'm just gonna keep building this up till I get what I like. So I've put two coats and I let it dry and to be honest, I don't like it. I don't, I feel like you can't even see my lashes. We'll keep it like that anyways. I'm quite disappointed in the mascara. Anyways, let's go onto skin now. I'm gonna use some of my LA Girl Pro Correct in Orange. And then I'm going to use my trusty old LA Girl Pro HD Illuminating Foundation. I don't even need that much foundation with it. Now I'm going to mix my two Pro HD concealers. I've got Toffee and Medium Beige. I'm just going to blend with my Jump Beauty Blender. And now I'm going to take some of my trusty old LA Girl Pro Banana Powder. So I'm going to take some with my damp beauty blender, tap off the excess. I'm also going to take some of the contour powder, the light color. And I'm just going to lightly Set the rest of my face. That's actually kind of nice to set the rest of your face. I'm just gonna brush the excess off. So now I'm gonna take the dark color from the contour palette. So with this definitely, a little goes a long way. I mean, I'm finding it a tad bit patchy to be honest, like right in, in my first impression. Let me see if I can take a different colour, different brush. Actually, that's not bad. I just had the wrong brush. Let me fix, see if I can fix this side now. It's actually nice because I'm taking that light colour and just brushing that underneath the contour powder. Okay, so now on to blusher. I'm going to use the new blushes. This is their Just Blushing blush in Just Peachy. It's like a that's the true colour. Like, can you see that? This is not. This is this is that true colour. Love that. Oh my god, I've been obsessed with blushes. So now onto highlighter. I had the strobe light powder in 80 watt. So it's just like a goldish kind of highlight. 
I mean, I have to be honest, like, their, their highlighters aren't my favourite. They do feel very, kind of, like, chunky. Sparkly. There's, like, chunks of glitter in it. So, like, if I show you guys. So you can see the chunks. It's very chunky. And it doesn't feel like the softest highlight on earth, so... It looks pretty when you put a little bit, when you start packing it on, it just, just looks too grey for me. So just to finish off the eyes, I'm going to go back in with the light brown colour here. Just going with the darker brown that we took from the palette, closer to the lash line. I'm also going to take a bit of the lighter colour from the palette and highlight my inner corner. It's very spiky, like it actually kind of hurts because I like to push the lash, the mascara wand against my skin to really get like volume at the roots but it's like so spiky that it kind of hurts. So now on to, oh actually I'm just going to pop a bit of my eyeliner. I'm going to use my semi-permanent auto eyeliner, the LA Girl Endless one. This is in very black. Now on to lips, I'm going to use my semi-permanent lip liner. This is the Endless range as well. This is in the shade Natural, which I love, but I really wanted to use um, True Brown. Because True Brown is like, I got a really light colour. True Brown is like, a uh, True Brown, it's like uh, one of my favourite drugstore. It's like the one I keep in my purse, so that's why I don't have it, I've lost it. I'm just going to fill it in. I'm going to use their matte liquid lipstick. This is in the shade... Fleur. It's kind of like a bright peachy one. It's kind of sticky. Is this a colour I would wear? Yes if I had my true brown lip liner, but it's actually really pretty. Like I love, love, love the color. Um, the only thing is the formula is a bit funny, like a very sticky, my lips in like instantly feels dry. Like it just feels very tight and dry, um, but it looks good. Like it, like it's really like softened my lower lip. There's no, I think that looks pretty good. I mean, it did do something funny on my top lip. And when I press my lips together, which I do a lot, the formula comes off the top, so. Which is a shame. It's so sticky. So I didn't have a setting spray because they only had a matte one and you guys know I love my glow. So this is the finished look, guys. The lip is a bit bright for me, obviously, but I would actually still wear it with a darker lip liner and a bit of gloss on top because I absolutely love the peachiness of it. But... The eyes, I was super impressed. The eyeshadow palette, 10 out of 10. The liner, like the, I don't get along with felt tip liners, but this was just super black, super precise and easy to work with. Um, oh my God, I just love the liner. And um, mascara was a, I uh, no, no, I don't like the mascara. Oh my God, the brow pencil, one of my faves, can't speak. I love my foundation. You guys know that this um, foundation is like one of my absolute favorites. The concealers are good, the powder, the blush, big thumbs up for me. I don't know, like I feel like everything, the only things I didn't really like were the mascara, the highlighter I already have and I don't really like it. Um, but then apart from that, like I just, I love everything else. I even really like the eye base, the eye base was really good. But I don't know, let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm really happy, like I love this, like I'm, I just love doing this video. I'm definitely going to check out more of the eyeshadow palettes because the eyeshadows are insane for the price. 
Let me know what other one brand tutorials you would like to see next as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. Thumbs up. And also hit the bell button if you want to see like my videos as soon as they go up. You get like a little notification. Um, and subscribe as well if you're new. I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.